Reports are emerging that two German cruise passengers suffered a vicious and violent assault while in port. I'll give you the initial details coming out from this tragic incident that went down on a cruise ship on a day off of a cruise ship. Plus, we need to talk about Carnival canceling another month on another popular cruise ship, this time in the Vista class. And Carnival's also bringing over a new ship called the Venezia. We need to talk about Italian Guy's Burgers. Yes, Italian Guy's Burgers. That's on the list today. Plus, Port Canaveral receives a popular brand new cruise ship from Norwegian. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Welcome to beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. I'm coming to you here from on board the newest cruise ship on planet Earth, the MSC Seascape. We are actually sitting here next to the MSC Divina. I thought, what better backdrop for today? Hopefully the audio is okay. I'm outside, it's a little windy. I'm trying to put the mic up here close to my face so you can hear me. There's tons of cruise news today. Why don't I just start with the MSC Seascape, the world's newest cruise ship, has made her first ever call into Nassau, Bahamas today. Just take a look. Here's some footage that I shot earlier today outside of the ship. Had the chance to meet with some fellow cruise vloggers. Some really cool content coming here. And check this guy out. You might know him here from the channel. Yeah, Jay from Ship Life is on board. So Jay, fantastic meeting. You can't wait to spend a little bit more time with you here on board the world's newest cruise ship. Now, speaking of new cruise ships, Norwegian's got one. She's called the Prima and she has a brand new home port. And it's a cool port for me. It's Port Canaveral. Norwegian Prima is gonna be offering sailings out of Port Canaveral now through March of 2023. That is the big news. She has just repositioned over to Canaveral. And the Norwegian Prima is a ship that I'm gonna to have to jump on board. How many of you have sailed on board the Prima or would be interested in doing so let me know about it in the comments down below while you're down there make sure you check out the description beneath this video it's kind of that holiday time of year if you're struggling to find gifts for a friend family member or loved one who likes cruising as much as you do you gotta check out my midships affiliate store on amazon in there you'll find everything i take with me and have personally tested and vetted on every single cruise it's the best way to support this channel while getting a fantastic deal for yourself. Again, the link's down below this video. Now we need to get into this breaking news. This story broke literally about five minutes ago about two German cruise passengers who were viciously attacked while in port in Brazil. The, the port that they were in, it's called Recife. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Here's the spelling, R-E-C-I-F-E, -E, Brazil. The 80-year-old couple was cruising aboard a Norwegian cruise ship. It's the Norwegian Star is the name of the ship. And they were said to be in port just taking photos of a local church there when they were attacked. One was thrown to the ground and the other may even have been stabbed in the head. Now, fortunately, no one has passed away as a result of this incident. Uh, one of the passengers is still in hospital as a result of their injuries. The other has been reported to have been released. Oh, hey, look, there's Jay from the ship life. He's just walking right over there. He's got his hat on. I, maybe I'll wave at him. Hey, Jay, <laughs> having a good time over there. These cruise ships, it's a small world. Let's get back to this story. The couple's names are Wolfgang and Dusan Gurkosh. Again, 79 and 81 years old. The attack happened on Thursday, December 8th, as they were just minding their own business, exploring tourist sites. Now, a couple news outlets have reported on this story. There's still mixed information coming out about it, whether the one passenger was struck in the head with an object that looked like a knife or stabbed in the head remains to be seen. Those are the reports coming out. I try to source this type of information from multiple sources before bringing it here, here on the channel. So we're gonna keep our eyes out on this story. And we of course wish a speedy recovery to these passengers that were involved in this incident that went down in Brazil. Now, the other takeaway from this is 
you need to be an advocate for yourself when you are out traveling. The world can be an amazing place, but it can also be a really dangerous place. And you need to be on your guard when you're on these cruise ships and when you're off of the cruise ships, especially in port, head on a swivel. Don't just be looking down on your cell phone. Don't just take pictures and not pay attention to what's going on around you. This is a very important reminder. And if you take nothing away from today's episode but that, that's probably the most important lesson from today's episode. Now let's switch to some other cruise news that's a little bit less serious. We need to talk about the Carnival Vista. Unfortunately, we're gonna have an entire month of cruises canceled for sailors on board the Vista. She's gonna be going into an extensive dry dock. This is all gonna go down in 2024 and the impacted sailings will run from January 7th up through February 10th for the Carnival Vista. She needs to go in for an extensive dry dock, more so than the cruise line had previously planned for. Now, remember the Vista class, all of these ships, whether it be the Vista, the Horizon, the Panorama, they've all suffered with propulsion issues throughout their lifetime. There's been issues with the Azipods. So I'm wondering if Carnival's looking to spend a little extra time trying to remedy these issues. We've seen all of these ships being pulled from services because they've had top speed issues throughout the Vista class. And these ships are not that old. They've only entered service within the last decade or more recently even, in fact, for a lot of ships like Panorama who just entered service right before the pandemic shut down. You know, speaking of the Panorama, you and I are going to be on board the Panorama January 14th of next year. I'm taking you on board and I'll be on the Radiance as well, the cruise before. So make sure you get subscribed if you want to see some of the content coming off of those ships. And if you'd really want to be a part of some of my content, I'd encourage you to check out my group cruise that I'll be hosting on board Carnival's newest ship. That cruise is going to go down June 11th of 2023 out of Miami, Florida. We're calling it the Midships Miami Nights. The Carnival Celebration, if you didn't already know, is a Miami themed cruise ship. So it's going to be a wonderful time. There is a Facebook group linked. It's the second link down in the description below this video. If you'd like to get some more information, I'd really love to have you along. We've already got about 20 folks already committed, hoping to get about 20 more to come along on this midships meetup group cruise. Now let's talk about another cruise ship coming over to America from Carnival Cruise Line. And that's a former Costa cruise ship, the Costa Venezia. She's now going to be She's now going to be renamed the Carnival Venezia, and it's gonna be a sort of Italian style carnival cruise experience to the point where even Guy's Burgers is said to have some Italian burger offerings. Now, if you love your Guy's Burgers, don't worry, you're still gonna be able to get your traditional fare on board, but there are going to be some new offerings that you have not seen before on prior Carnival Cruises. I'm really excited to get on board the Venezia. She's gonna make her first sailing out of the US from New York City in June of 2023. Gonna to try to get on board for one of those early sailings. There's also gonna be a couple other special Italian specific restaurants that are only going to be specific to the Venezia and most likely the Firenze, which is the other ship that Carnival is bringing over from the Costa fleet. One of those is going to be a Mexican Italian fusion style restaurant called Pomodoro. And there's going to be a La Strada Grill, which is also going to be a specialty, which is going to be a paid option Italian restaurant on board. So we have lots of new food and dining options to look forward to coming up with a new Costa by Carnival experience that's going to be setting sail from New York City in June of next year. So if you made it this far into today's episode and you love cruising and you love cruise news, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel with the thumbs up button pressed. It goes a long way to helping me continue to hop on ships and create content just like this for you. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. Until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. I spent today in Nassau, I went to a restaurant over, well, it's that way. It's on Paradise Island. It's called Viola's and I had a little brunch there. Had a really great time. Unfortunately, I only took this picture of my breakfast. I had a waffle, some scrambled eggs and bacon. Pretty good little restaurant. Uh, it was about a $20 taxi ride over there though. So it cost more actually than the breakfast. The prices were great. Uh, tomorrow we have a sea day and then I am stopping in one of my all time favorite ports, Puerto Rico. And we also have another port coming up, the Dominican Republic. I believe Perro DJ is going to be there. Uh, 
trying some things behind the scenes to maybe get to spend a little bit of time there with D and J. They're one of my favorite couples that cruises, so make sure you stick around to see if maybe we run into Pero DJ and I'm going to go check out Jay from the Ship Life now, see how his day's been. Thanks, y'all, for stopping by. We'll see you again tomorrow.